Hello thrillers, welcome back to our channel where we have this beautiful dress to make. If this is your first time coming here, my name is Uche Beyoncé. It's good to have you here. Let's dig into the day's business. So this is a very simple dress. It's not difficult, so don't frown your face. Don't be too serious. Let's enjoy the tutorial. So first of all, we are drafting this on a pattern paper. Your pattern paper is your friend. It doesn't make you less of a fashion designer or a tailor. And this pattern paper is on fold, actually. You're ruling the starting point line 0 0.5. And from here, our measurement starts. So I have the measurement of my clients here. And the shoulder to bust is 10.5 inches, which is here. And I'm going to mark it both ways for accuracy. Shoulder to on the bust is 14.5. These are the measurements you need. 14.5 is here. And shoulder to waist is 17.5, which you have here. Shoulder to hip line is 27. 27 is here. So I use dotted line here for a reason. Then the next thing is on our shoulder line, we're going to mark shoulder. And the shoulder my client is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. And I'm going to mark it here. I'm making use of a neck of 4 inches. But first of all, I'm going to mark the basic neck which is three inches, so I have three inches here. In order to get our ample, I'm also going to mark our shoulder here, which is eight inches. Then coming to her, her armhole, her armhole round is 17. 17 divided by two is 8.5, and I mark it down from here. I have 8.5 here. And remember, we are coming down on the shoulder by one inch because of the shoulder slope, one inch. Connect this to the neckline. Then I'm also going to rule a straight line here. And automatically this becomes our chest line. Next is to find our front armhole. So this armhole, I have 7.5 here. Just fold your tape ruler this way and find the midpoint. So this is my midpoint. And from there, I'm going to come in by half an inch, inch here. I'll connect it to this. I'm going to find our bust circumference divided by four. But two divided by four, we have 10 inches. And I'm going to mark it here. Sorry, 10.5 inches. So I'm also going to mark the same thing on the chest line. I have it here. So now I can complete the armhole. Then the next thing is our on the bust circumference. Note, this thing doesn't have a waist dart. You know, it's looking like a corset that the, the, the dart has already been eliminated. So waist of my client is 39. 39 divided by 4 is 9.75, which is this point. The hip circumference is 48.5 divided by 4 is 12.125. And this is it. Then working on the neck, front depth, I want to make use of 7 inches. For the back, we are using 1 inch. Then for the neck width, we're working with 4.5 inches. So we are going to connect this to this and this to this. So now I'm creating the style line effect on the on this dress. On the hip line, we're going to come up by two inches. This is the one I drafted for myself, and I'm going to use this as a template for this. Now on the bust line, I'm coming down by 1.5 inches, or you can use one inch, and we're going to use it to create that effect here. Then on the under part, the, the nipple to nipple measurement of the client is eight inches. And on half, it is four inches here. So from my template, I said extend it by 1.5 inches after the that line. This four inches plus 1.5 inches, and that is 5.5. Then on the center line, I'm coming up by 2.5 inches. Why on the side, I am coming up by 3.5 inches. That is one inch difference. So I'm going to slash this open, but before that, let me replace all these. And this is our front alone. So we'll cut this out. Now for that gathered in the center of the dress, on our bust, we divide our bust by two. Just fold your tape rule. So this is the middle. 
and then our shoulder too we divide it by two so here and then we roll it after this we're going to slash it open for that gather so this is it and here when i'm cutting on my fabric i'm not going to i don't want it to gather too much so i'm just going to open it up by one inch and that is for this now this is my back as you can see i went on and i added a zipper of allowance of 1.5 so i cut a long paper and i attached it with my gun if you can see this then also on the waist side i also added back the paper that i cut now i have a zipper allowance of 1.5 here let me mark it out so taking away that zipper bulge, this is the waistline. I'm going to go in by one inch. So here also, I'm also going in by one inch on this zipper line. I'm connecting this to the tip of this, connecting this to the tip of the allowance side. Then also here, here to here, here to here. So, and this is it. You can actually use 0 0.5 if you want, you know, for this. And that takes this place out. We're not working with this anymore. We're going to cut it off. And this is our new zipper allowance. Now, because of this one inch that we took out here, and it has already reduced our waist, we're going to replace it on this part. Now, so here, this is our normal waist before. So I'm going to add back the one inch here and connect this back to here and this back to here. We're done with this. Let's go over to cutting on our fabric. I have here one and a half yard of a duchess fabric that I'm going to use to cut the upper bodice. So I've gone ahead to cut this on the duchess fabric. This is the center front for the front side. This is the center on fold. And uh, this is the side. I used two inches sewing allowance on the side. And uh, as you can see, also 0 0.5 inches, sorry, 0 0.5 inch up and down. And for this one also, on the neckline 0 0.5, the shoulder line 0 0.5, the armhole 0 0.5. Then on the side, I gave 2 inches. And here also, I gave an allowance of 0 0.5. And on this part, I spread it with 1 inch. I don't want it much, like I already said. So this is 1 inch. Go ahead and do yours as you want. And this is the center fold, as you can see. This is on fold. Then this is the back side also. On the neckline 0 0.5, the shoulder line 0 0.5, armhole 0 0.5 down part 0 0.5 and here is two inches so this is the zipper allowance i already have it here as you can see it is two then i've always also gone ahead to cut my sleeve i used uh, a sleeve length of six inches so go ahead and do yours if you don't know how to cut this sleeve i will show the link just on the right top of this very video now so click it and watch a very detailed and yet simple tutorial on how to cut your sleeve and this is what i have left from this fabric go ahead and do all these things cut them on your lining and also on iron your hair stay on this and then we'll come back and cut the down part i'm just showing how i notched this point for easy identification now i'm coming over to these down parts okay i have here in total 12.25 inches and uh, i want to spread it by 1.5 so i'm going to mark 1.5 and i'll rule a line down this is it i also went ahead to label this center fold and i numbered it to avoid confusion so number yours and also label your center then i'm going to slash all this open now this is the fabric I'm working with. This is very nice, so nice. High target is a very a pure cotton material. So I've also, I've also gone ahead to cut it two and a half yards for the front, two and a half yards for the back. I'm going to open it up and spread this on top of it. And this is a satin fabric that I'm going to use as the lining so as to add volume to it. It's totally optional. You can choose not to use it. This is me. I placed the front on the back and I gave this for this zip allowance. Gave one inch here for the side, you know, sewing allowance. And this is on fold already, as you can see. And to determine, because this is not up to the length I'm going to be working with. So to, det to make it a straight line, this is the highest point, longest for this. So I'm going to use it to make it a straight line. I don't even understand. So I've placed this here. 
is the longest. So I'm going to mark where it stops. And follow that line. And make a straight line. Now I have a perfect straight line that will guide me regardless of, you know, all these things, this pattern having curves here and there. Now, how are we going to spread this? Measure what you have from your center front. I will measure till the end. So I have 45. Now, how many patterns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 45 divided by 8, I have 5.625. What we will do next is to start placement. Now, this is the center front, the center fold. And I'm going to place this on this line and pin it down. We'll measure 5.625. Look at where I'm starting from. 5.625. I have it here. We place the next slash. So you now see the, the necessity of this line. Because if not, we would have just started anyway. So, but this line guides you. Pin it down to measure 5.625 again. I have it here. I already marked it down. Then you place. That's how you're going to do it all too. To get the length of the of this down part, remember we have this here as our hip. We had this initially pointed out as our hip, and it's 27. When we measured the 27, I even I wrote it down here. Now to put my 27 right on that hip side to measure the length I'm working with. I have here 49 inches. Why I want to work with a length of 48 inches? So the nine, the one inch will not be my hemming allowance. Now the next thing is to just trace this out. Half inch allowance. Take note of that. It's coming in here already. Now this is the part with the dip. Find the midpoint. This is the midpoint. And then start taking it up again. So you can see half inch sewing allowance. This is what we have. Then we can go ahead and cut this out. At this point, you may want to notch your center. We take the front off and then for the back, we're going to slash it open because this is our zipper allowance. So this is the power allowance. We're going to notch it there. This satin is three yards by 16 inches. So in order to meet up with the main dress of five yards, that is two, two and a half, two and a half, I had to slash it towards that 60 inches side, reducing this to 30 inches. And I joined it to the side to make up six yards. And I've also gone ahead to cut it into this very shape. But the one I, I sewed for myself, I did not bother to cut the lining into shape. I just used it straight away. So you cut it into this very shape. But please have in mind, at the end of this the tutorial, back. I had to reduce 10 inches from the length of this very satin. If not, it will be heavy on your client. So for the upper part, remember we had a 1 inch slash here. On that part, you can decide to gather it, you can decide to pleat it. But in my case, I pleated it. I just folded here, folded this part, and took it to my sewing machine and sew. This is just to, I don't, I didn't really want to put this. It's just to give you the effect that, yes, we belong here. So I went ahead to do it. On the, do it for the lining, do it for your main fabric. For this, if you notice, I've already ironed in my hair stay. It's a black hair stay, so I've ironed it on the main fabric what you would do next is to to turn this we're going to turn it with our this is the back side so i placed it right side of the fabric facing the the lining the right side so i will take it to my sewing machine and seal in the rough edges i will sew the neck sew the zipper side sew the side and then do it the same for the these other parts leave the down part open please and leave the armhole open you bring in your front this is it here. So on this mid part, I'm going to flip it over, hold it down with my pin, take it to my sewing machine, and I will sew it. Sew it on one side. When you're done, you do the same for the other side. And also, we will join everything you do for the main fabric. This is me just showing you to lining. notch the center so that you can be flexible to move around sideways while sewing this. When you are done, you place it on the main fabric just the way you turn the back you do for the front. 
this is a this is the back side very neat for the front and back so the next thing is to join it on the shoulder and this is how i'm going to do it i've already laid down the back side this is the front side so i will pick it this way so this is the back i'll pick it then use the lining for the back and cover cover the front then i'll take it to my sewing machine and sew it down by half an inch do the same for this side if you've been following my channel you know i do this a lot i did not top stitch the neck but well, what i will do is i'll just put this hemming gum lay it inside and iron it flat making sure that this the lining side is not showing do it for the front do it for the back and we'll come and join the sleeve for the sleeve this is the right side and this is the sleeve for my right side so i'm using the same fabric but this is my lining and this is the main um, sleeve so right side facing to right side you're going to join it here sew it down and also sew it down but i want to conceal this but i don't want to serge it what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this my lining side on this other part center to center and so i've gone ahead to pin it on the middle then you just keep picking it that is the main your your dress is on the in between so you pick this and you pick this that's how you're going to line it up until the end and if you get it right this is how it look like when you are done sewing it so this is it i went ahead and i pinned it pinned it down pinned it down so when you get to this end part you're going to this is the sleeve and the lining you're going to sew it down here do the same for this side and then when you flip it over you see this is the right side this is the wrong side everything is just well sealed up and here i'm going to use hemming gum to hold it down for this one for this i'm going to use hemming gum to hold it down then after this the next thing is to attach my zipper so this is the back side and please if you don't know how to attach a zipper check the link above to get my video on how to sew a basic bodies there i define i explain how to attach a zipper very well so this part i will stop one inch before the end to give a room where we're going to attach the underdress so you can see i've joined the zipper and the next thing is to join it on the side just quickly what i'm going to do is i'm Remember what we drafted, I'm just going to place it, you know, on this underbust side and trace out what I have. But I've already done that, trace it out, place it on this side too and trace what you have. After joining the sides of this and trimming off any excess, we're going to join the sides of the down part and remember i'm treating these together with this i'm treating them as one because i already have another lining i went off camera to arrange it properly because the much the fabric is much now this is the back and this is the center back that is the side with the zipper how you know it's very good to notch this your zipper side because it, it can get confusing so i notched it here remember now i'm going to place the front on top of it so this is my front and this is the center front going to the center back the zipper side we will join it on the side join it on this side join the other side too now we are through with joining the sides so you may go ahead and uh, hem your dress hem it till the end it will be easier for you and uh, the next thing is to join this to the down part I just opened my zipper all through and uh, this is the front side. This is my center front with the notch. Yeah, this is the deep. This is the deep. This deep side is my center front too. So we are going to match it. First of all, you may want to gather this thing. You may want to, you know, take it to your sewing machine and gather it to the measurements you have on each one before joining into this. But I want to you know sew it along why sewing and gathering and this is how i do it if you watch my previous video i explained it also very well this is the center 
then I'll match it here and pin. So I've pinned it, then this is the pointer side connected to this deep here. Then I'll move this, bring it here, and I'll also pin it there. I've pinned it, and this is the next pointer side which belongs to this. We are going to also move it and pin it there. We are done with this. The next thing is the side. This is the side. You can see. And also this is the side of the upper part. Drag it there, pin. So just as I showed us, that's what how you would do this side too. Then we take this to our sewing machine. You may want to start from one end and proceed to the other end, or you may want to just start from the middle. This is our middle by our notch. So what this means now is it has given us a guide that you need to gather all these things, all this fabric, or we'll gather it into here. That's what this means. And when you get to this pointy um, edges, this pointy places, you may notch it a little and then you continue. So you also gather all these into here. So that's how I'm going to do it and get to the end. You see, this is very easy. It's very easy. If you're enjoying this video at this moment, please subscribe, like and share. One more of my secret to puffiness, when I got to the side, I had to add my hard paper stay some inches like two inches or three inches before the side and three inches after the side so while i pleat the main fabric i also pleat the hard paper stay and i sewed along when i got to the zipper side i did not gather again i just made it straight and uh, you can also see that on this, the downside, I left the upper inch here because I'm going to use it to join to the lining for a neat finishing. So, so this is what we have. And uh, if this were to be your lining already, you may go ahead and uh, just search this. Just weave it, take it to weaving machine and weave it. But if you want to follow me to my neat finishing journey, this is it. I've cut another lining. And just the same way I joined these on the two sides, leaving the the center back that is the zipper side open that's the way i joined it here you can see this is the side this is the side and mind you this is my lining i'm also going to gather it though it's not up to five yards here this one is lesser so i'm just going to use it however it is i guess this should be uh, two and a half yards or whatever or two or, or three yards since i did not also shape the upper side I'm just going to attach it that way. And when I get to this end, remember I gave quarter inch here. I'm going to sew it, hold it here to match this together and sew it down. I've also, I first of all went ahead to hem my lining. Quickly on the lining, this is just how I did it. Like I already said, I made the center. That is, this is the wrong side of the lining. This is the right side of the, of, the, of the lining facing these upper bodies. So this is the center and also on the side, this is the side I joined for the lining. I'll merge it to the side of the, of the bodies. And also you go to the zipper side, like I said already, that quarter inch that you have here. So you pick them and then you pick it down and I pinned it. So I did the same for the other side. Just just for even distribution, you match the side to side, and this is zipper side. So now I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine. I'll start from this end, this uh, zipper side, sew it up to here. Now I already know what to gather inside. I will just, you know, be gathering this, making sure that I consume everything within this space and these two, and that is it. Then after this, the next thing is to attach our pocket. This video is already long and I'm kind of rushing, but I'm still going to make you understand it. Okay. So for the pocket, I used, I've already cut it. But I'm just going to show us how I did it. So uh, for the two sides, I'm folding it, folding it again. 
and then you place your hand. Then you take your scissors and cut. You can see I'm leaving an inch sewing allowance. So you just cut, cut the shape of your hand to the end. And this is it. So when you are done, you're going to pick it right side facing right side. Take it to your so one. Take it to your sewing machine. As you can see, I left half of an inch at the end, and then you're going to sew it round on the other side too. You leave half of an inch open. Do not sew it. Do the same for this side. And then you, when you are done with that, you get your dress. Like two inches after the joining, you're going to start from there. And then you pick it like this. This is your pocket. When you place it, it has to face towards this way. If it's facing like this, it's not, you know, that means you've not placed it very well. It has to face, you know, it's just facing up, but it has to face down. When you put your pocket, it will relax. And I'm going to open up this side, side seam. Then you pick it. Place it. Open that up. Place it this way. Take it to your sewing machine. You can hold it down with your pin. Take it to your sewing machine and sew it down. Please, careful, don't sew on the seam you have here. Don't sew on the seam. Just a little after the seam, you sew it down. When you are done with that side, you also go over to this side. Open this up, place it on it too, on the other side. And sew it down. Now, don't stitching it down. You want to, because we we'll have to open up this seam. So you have to go back and reinforce, sew it, back stitch it, and then you also sew this place, this end, back stitch it. Now this is my pocket, and if you can see very well, I've gone ahead to reinforce here. That is back stitching. I've also reinforced here, and I'm going to lose this line. I'm going to lose it open and do for the other side too, so that our pocket will be open. And this is it. So do you see now we've achieved a very neat finishing. Do you see? Everywhere is just sealed up. The only thing remaining is to go ahead with your zipper, join your zipper to the downside. This is our zipper here. And then... We are going to come up by two inches. I'm going to start from here. We'll mesh this together. We're going to take this out and then we sew your zip allowance. Finally, we've done that and we've also gone ahead to finish up the zipper attachment. Just check the tutorial on my basic body so you see how I touch zipper. So the final thing to do now is just to use this, this embellishment to finish it off. You know, I'll use my needle and thread to finish it just as in the thumbnail. And that is all for this very tutorial. So let's get your comment on what you think about this tutorial. If you're going to be trying it out, you may want to show us, you know, just send the picture of what you did. I'll drop my mail. You can send it there or you can do a community post on your, your YouTube page and tag. Quickly, this is just mine with the normal videos. lining and the hard paper stay. No satin. So thank you very much for joining us and see you next time. Bye.